In today's tech review, I'm going over a cool LED desk lamp that's dimmable by touch, flexible, and even has its own built-in memory function. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric of Immersive Tech TV. And on this channel, we review awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. So if you're new here today, definitely feel free to subscribe to catch future videos just like this one. Real quick guys, before I start today's video, I just want to say a quick thank you to Lighting Ever for sending me this LED desk lamp to review. Lighting Ever is a company that specializes in all kinds of cool LED lighting technology. So if you guys would like to learn more about this lamp after the review, feel free to check out the description box below. I'll link up where you can find it, as well as a couple of their other popular desk lamps for every budget. So for starters, this LED desk lamp is extremely flexible. It has a three joint flexible lamp arm which allows you to adjust to several different lighting positions. In addition, it also has a rotatable lamp head which can provide even more lighting angles. The base of the lamp has some nice weight to it so it's pretty stable and you won't have to worry about it tipping over easily. In terms of its design, it has a very clean looking brushed aluminum alloy body. And with this design in mind, I feel its simple yet sleek design will look good on most modern desk setups. Now let's talk about the main feature, it's lighting. As I said, the 27 LEDs on this desk lamp are dimmable, and you can adjust from as low as 5% all the way up to 100% brightness. But the cool thing about this lamp's dimming feature is you don't have to adjust it by a knob or a button. It adjusts simply by your own touch. As you can see, all you have to do is run your finger across the touch sensitive control strip and you can adjust the brightness, again from 5 to 100%, depending on how bright or how dim you want it. At its brightest setting, it kicks out 500 lumens of light. Now in terms of the color temperature of its lighting, it has three modes where you can adjust the color temperature to either 3000K, 4700K, or 6000K. This basically means that you can adjust it from a warm white light on the low end, to a neutral white light in the middle, and lastly, to a more of a daylight white light on the high end. Another cool feature is its built-in memory function. And what this means is that the lamp can remember your last settings, so when you turn on the lamp the next time, it will give you your ideal light automatically. It also has a handy little 30 second off timer button that allows you to walk out of a dark room as it slowly dims down for 30 seconds and then finally turns off. Lastly, this lamp does have a built-in USB output port with five volts and two amps of power. So in the event you don't have a charger around, you can use this lamp as a backup to charge things like your smartphone, tablet, or even other USB devices. So what are my overall thoughts on this LED desk lamp? Well, at the end of the day, its two biggest features are probably its flexibility and its ability to be dimmed and brightened by touch. But personally for me, I enjoy the ability to change the color temperature depending on what my eyes are feeling in that moment. So I'm definitely gonna be using this lamp to replace my old current lamp. I think this new LED light will look much better on my desk. And I definitely plan to be using it for late night editing, especially when I could use some extra light for my eyes. And that pretty much sums up today's review on this dimmable LED desk lamp. If you guys found today's video helpful, definitely feel free to subscribe to catch new weekly videos on more awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. And again, if you'd like to learn more about this particular model, I'll link down below where you can find it online. Lastly guys, if you have any questions about this LED desk lamp, feel free to let me know your questions down below in the comments, and I'm always happy to connect with you guys down there. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.